Okay, so I received my upgrade to 12.3.4 um, FSD version, uh, FSD supervised, last night uh, around Friday. It was maybe around 10 p.m. or so. Uh, I'm in New York City. So that's when I got my upgrade. And I'm going to basically test it out and see how it does. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the areas that I previously uh, took a video of uh, where I had some issues and some other areas that, you know, I didn't put on video, but I had some issues that I want to test with this version to see if this version has resolved those, those issues that I had on the previous version. Uh, so if you like this type of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. In the uh, right now, we're gonna actually go into a kind of a busy area where we have to merge onto uh, a road and then quickly merge into a fork, and that's coming up soon. So let's see how it does there. So we have to stick to the left lane, and we have to take this exit here on the left. So after this this uh, exit. There's going to be a, a fork that we have to quickly take and that distance is not that uh, much of a distance. We have to quickly uh, make the lane changes and when there's a lot of cars, sometimes it gets a little bit difficult uh, for the car to move all the way to the left to get off of the exit. Uh, in the previous versions, not FSD uh, version 12, but in 11, it would be very hesitant. So I would often miss this uh, exit. Uh, but with V12, it seems to be doing it pretty well. So you see the exit is coming up very soon. It has to quickly go to the left. So let's see if it can do that quickly. See, it has to be a little more aggressive. It's got to quickly go to the left. Okay, and then it's got to go to the left again. Okay, so it it made it to the left lane uh, before the exit right here that's coming up. Uh, if this area was a little bit more packed, I'm not with just uh, you know small spaces between the cars. I'm not sure if the FSD would have been able to make it um, because it seems a little bit less uh, aggressive in those situations where it has to quickly move into a small space between cars in order to make the lane change. But in this case, uh, there was enough room, so FSD was able to make it. And on this version, I'm not sure if the previous version uh, did the same thing, but when I was on the highway for you know several minutes, like two, three minutes, it, it felt unusually comfortable because it was, driving at the same miles per hour for like two three minutes straight so it, it felt more it, it kind of felt unnatural because it was too comfortable you know it was moving at that constant speed for such a long time and you know normal driving you know you get some fluctuations in the miles per hour sometimes you hit the accelerator you speed up you slow down just a few miles per hour uh, but this FSD since it's a computer you know it just locks in a miles per hour a particular miles per hour and it just keeps it for several minutes so it, it feels very comfortable but unnaturally comfortable uh, in those cases which is a good thing I'm not saying it's bad Alright, so this exit right here on the previous version, I think it was uh, version 12.3.3, uh, we have to basically go straight on this highway. It would take this exit and then get on the next exit back into the highway. And I wasn't sure why it did that, but you know, it did it about two times for me uh, on the previous version. 
Uh, this version it doesn't seem to be doing that so I guess that has been fixed. Also I think it would be great if uh, you know with these FSDs if the user of the car could customize their setting for you know a particular road or route that they're taking to a particular navigation point uh, maybe if it could kind of memorize the path that the the car takes so if the user decides to go a different path from what the navigation originally decided on if the navigation could then pick up that route and then for the next route use the route that uh, basically the user took uh, because sometimes people have a particular route they like to take maybe it's because uh, you know it's um, you know less potholes or maybe typically there's less um, you know less traffic or cameras or things like that or maybe they just like a different path because of the uh, scenery of that path if FSD and the navigation system could lock in that or just memorize that path so that it takes it the next time you know that would be I think a great um, great feature or even uh, if it could get even more specific and not even the route but it knows which lanes the car is taking so on this particular route I would prefer not to take the left lane because of the uh, rainwater drainage uh, openings that you see on the road because it, you know every time you hit it it kind of gives a it's a small little bump uh, if it, you, you might be able to see it on the left so if the Tesla can can memorize the lens lanes that you'd like to take and basically take those lanes in a particular area uh, that would again be a great feature to have You know, also the same with, you know, getting to, let's say, your house or a particular location that uh, you typically go to. If it can memorize what you actually do once you get to that location, whether it's going into a garage, going into a gate, parking in a particular location um, in that area, then again, that would be a great feature to have. Alright, so we have an exit that's coming up on the right side, and Tesla just automatically came into this lane. I'm not sure if it's because it knows that it's going to take the right lane exit, or if it just did that because of the traffic conditions. Uh, but, you know, if you made the, uh, the lane change earlier because the exit is coming up soon, I think it's good because it made the lane change a lot sooner so way before we have to actually take the exit and you know that's a good thing rather than waiting uh, up to the point that we have to take the exit to merge onto the lane to take the exit because in that case is uh, sometimes there's too many cars and you actually miss you can actually miss the exit if you wait too long
good that it merged to the lane before it went to the end of the runway like it used to do in version 11. Okay, in that case, I would have uh, hit the brakes a little bit sooner because I actually saw the car in front of the car in front of me, so two cars up, slowing down. So I would have hit the brakes a little bit sooner. But still, you know, the braking wasn't abrupt, so it was still fine. Okay, we have to make a, uh, we have to exit on the right soon. Okay, so I have an issue on the last version, it's coming up very soon, so after this light there's going to be a stop sign, but that stop sign is actually not for my lane, it's for the lane to the right, and it actually thought that the stop sign was for me and I would actually stop, so let's see how it does here. So it's after this light you're going to see um, a stop sign to the right. That stop sign is not for us. It's for the road to the right of that. So let's see if my car stops like it did on the previous version or it continues to go like it actually should be doing. Okay, you see the stop sign right there? This is not for us. Okay, so I guess they fixed it. I guess they kept training that situation or that condition right there and it was able to pick it up and it didn't stop at the stop sign. So uh, this version basically corrected that one issue. All right, so you can see that curb right there. Uh, there's a very steep curb and I'm gonna see if uh, FSD will be able to recognize that that curb right there that's about a seven or eight inch drop so I put it in so it has to make a right turn let's see if it avoids that steep drop Nope, it looks like it's gonna, it was about to drop off of that steep drop again. So it doesn't seem to be able to recognize it. And looking at the graphics, it also doesn't look like it's picking up that steep drop. I think that's a pretty dangerous situation. I think um, you know FSD should be able to recognize that that is actually a very steep curb. Uh, hopefully in the next version it'll fix it. It did not fix it in this version. So let's, let's see if it, um, it, it basically fixes that issue in uh, future versions. goodness that was so tight but the car is so confident in that turn I mean it's just you know 
with about one or two inches this this car just goes right into it you know no hesitation you know that's that's one good thing about the measurement being done by a computer it just knows that it's it's clear you know even with just a few inches of space okay it did a very good job uh, slowing down for these people here Okay, we got this uh, left turn that I showed on previous videos where it has to avoid the steel columns when it makes the left turn. So let's see how it does here. On the previous, uh, uh, on the previous FSD version, the V12.3.3, it would stay on the right lane rather than on this lane right here, on the left lane. So that's one difference that I noticed right away on this version. But let's see how it does when it makes that left turn and if it's able to avoid the steel columns. I guess this would be the right move to make. Okay, um, yeah, we're in a, a little bit of a jam because the traffic now I'm blocking. So I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Okay, it's turning. All right, that's good. Now it has to stick quickly to the right lane. Okay, it, it has to go to the right lane. Let's see how it go it's got to go between these columns here it's got to go quickly now it's got to go uh oh uh oh oh sh okay that was headed straight to the base of the steel column so I don't think it actually picked up that uh, lower portion of the column so I would have to say FSD did not work in that situation so we'll test that situation again on future versions to see if it fix the issue.